be my pastor. My dear evangelist, evangelist heaven and zoom missionary heavens, bless the Lord. And my visiting brethren, bless the Lord. Let me say, Sister Cheryl Cool, bless the Lord. Worship God, the Lord. Worship God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm saying that my time is here. I have to tell today. My heart rejoices. Hallelujah. We are coming from a mighty long way. I'm all for love. You never know for love. Mighty long way. And my kids keep following that footstep. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But if I tell you where I'm coming from, and where God has brought me to, you will be astonished. My beloved, I am so proud of her and her kids. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Keep holding on. Because this is not your final law. Bless the Lord. Keep fighting fight. Somebody said I'm going to fight. I know I'm going to die. But I'm going to hold up the blood stand by. Worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, tonight, 
morning, son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. We meet together. Praise God. First Samuel 3, read it from 1, 2 to 10. Praise God. At the count of 3, 1, 2, 3. And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in the house There was no open vision. And it came to pass at the time when Eli was laid down. And his eyes began to wax. And he could not see. And there is a lamp of God went out into the temple. Where the ark of God was. And Samuel was laid down to sleep. That the Lord called Samuel. And he answered. Here am I. And the Lord unto Eli said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I call not. Lie down again. And he went and lay down. And the Lord called yet again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And he answered, I call not. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him. And the Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he rose and went to Eli, and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be. And he called thee that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hear it. So Samuel went and laid down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called and asked him, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant hear it. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let Praise the Lord be Praise the Lord. Bless his holy name. Praise God, I won't come in on the scripture because we have no speaker. Praise God. The speaker for today, Evangelist Paul Edwards. Praise God. Let the church receive her. Evangelist to the church. To the church. Evangelist. Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Let me greet our beloved Pastor, Pastor Julius Edwards. Bless the name of the Lord. Let me greet my dear evangelist, Oprah Reynolds. Praise God. Let me greet evangelist and missionary Evans and Zoom and any other workers on Zoom. I think evangelist Robinson from the Nottingham Assembly. Bless the Lord. All the saints. All the visiting ones in the sanctuary. Praise God, ladies and children. Special greetings to my family from New Jersey. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. This is the next one wanted to be our favorite speaker today. Praise God. I'm going to try to stand in the spot as much as I can. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is not my favorite spot to be. Praise God, but the song says, I must have the Savior with me. Lord, I fear not long ago. I must feel his presence near me. And his arms around me grow. Then my soul shall fear no will. Let him lead me where he will. I will go without a murmur. And his footsteps follow still. 
Praise God. It's a wonderful day in the house of the Lord. And I need to see some more smiling faces. Bless the Lord. It's nice to see those happy faces. Praise the God in the heavenly places. Glory, glory. And on the thrill that we feel when we get together with God's wonderful people. Bless the name of the Lord. Let the house of Israel shout a hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> 
that God divided the waters from the waters. The firmament from the firmament. He said, let there be light. He said, let us make man and all on image and the spirit of God with the speaking and speaking and speaking things into existence. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless his holy name. Somebody said, let the spirit move. Hallelujah. So we understand from the beginning of time that it is very important that the Lord speaks. Bless his holy name. Amen. And for the church, it is very important that we know the voice of the Lord different from the other voices that are speaking around us. Bless the name of the Lord. Because there can be other voices that sound like the voice of God, but it is a counterfeit. But when the Lord speaks, we need to understand when the Lord is speaking. Amen, amen, amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, glory. Word of God, hear and hear what the Spirit said to the churches. Bless the Lord. Amen, amen. You know, we find that the earth was inhabited. You know, the word of God declares that the wickedness of man came up into the nostril of God. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And he said, God hated that he had made man. Bless the name of the Lord. And God began to speak one more time. Because he was speaking to destroy mankind because of the sin that was upon the earth. You know, God spoke unto his servant Noah. He said, Noah. Don't worry, just man. Don't worry, righteous man. Amen. Know where you're perfect in your generation. And know where you walk with God. Bless the Lord for us to hear from God. We have to be a righteous man. Amen. For Amen. us to hear from God, we have to walk with the Lord. For us to hear from God, we have to be perfect in the sight of God. Bless the Lord. You know, because God is not going to speak to any and anybody. You know, everybody can say, God speak to me and God speak to me. But who's God really speaking to? Amen, amen. Hallelujah. You know, so he found a man by the name of Noah who walked with God. Who was a just man. Bless the name of the Lord and he spoke unto Noah and he told him to build an ark. He gave him the dimension, he gave him the size, he gave him the width, he gave him the height. You know how he should construct that ark. Bless the name of the Lord. He instructed Noah who and who should go into that ark. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Noah hearkened unto the voice of the Lord. Speak, Lord, that servant here. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Says, the unclean shall go in two by twos. The clean shall go in seven by seven. It shall be you, your wives, and your son wives who shall be in the ark. Bless the name of the Lord. Yet for today that shall reign. Glory to God. So we understand that when God speaks, it's no joke. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. When he speaks, it's going to come in existence. And it's going to happen. It's going to come to pass. Because it is the voice of God that speaks. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. And it came to pass. You know, after the flood and men began to multiply upon the face of the earth. You know that the people of God, Israel, that called Abraham and, you know, the sea was multiplied like the sand of the sea. You know, they were brought to Egypt, bondage land, and they were there for over 430 years. Bless the name of the Lord, for God found a man and he spoke to him. Hallelujah. God is still speaking. Bless the name of the Lord. And then from the beginning, he was speaking. He spoke to Noah. Now he's speaking to Moses. He said, go down to Egypt. He said, he feel Let my people go. Bless the Lord. It's something impossible. But when God speaks, it shall be done. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, so Moses was a little bit iffy because what God was saying to him, you know, it seemed impossible and he wanted to prove God. You know, God told him, put your hands in your bosom and take it out. When he took out his hand, it was white as leprosy. When he put back his hand in his bosom, he came back as clean as his hand. 
God spoke and it was done. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, glory. Sometimes I need to hear from you, Lord. I need a word from you, Lord. If I don't hear from you, Lord, what will I do? Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His voice makes the difference. When he speaks, he relieves my trouble. Hallelujah. That's the only voice I hear that makes a difference. And I follow one day at a time. Bless the name of the Lord. So through the Old Testament, God is speaking and he's speaking to his prophets. He spoke to Noah. Bless the name of the Lord. He spoke to Jeremiah. He spoke to Elijah. He spoke to Elijah. Bless the name of the Lord. He spoke to Samuel. Bless the name of the Lord. He spoke to Joel. Because there must be a man that he finds his people. Glory to God. Amen. And sometimes we find ourselves in certain situations like myself sometimes. And I wonder where is God? Is God speaking to his people anymore? Is God leading his people anymore? Is God giving comfort to the eyes of his people anymore? Bless the name of the Lord and the heard the voice of God just now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The word of God declared that he became zealous for God. In other words, he's wondering, where are you, Lord? Draw my Lord! Draw my Lord! I need to hear from you, Lord. I need a word! Lord. If I don't hear from you, Lord, what will I do? Say, I don't want to speak, my Lord. Waiting to hear from the Lord. 
Glory to God, the word of God declared that there was a mighty shake. And he shook everything that was around Elijah. I can imagine if some of, some of us was waiting to hear from God and the place he made to shake was a yes in the voice of God. But the planet was shaken and everything around it was broken. But Elijah stood still because he knew that God was not in the earthquake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 It's the only voice I hear that makes a difference. And I follow what they are Bless the Lord. The word of God declared that Elijah stands still. And the wind began to blow. And the wind began to blow. Hallelujah. 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 And the wind began to blow. But Elijah stood still. Hallelujah. You see, if we move with the wind, if we think it's God is going to blow us away, Hallelujah. I said if we go with the earthquake and we think it's God, it's going to take us under. Bless the name of the Lord. When Moses declared to the children of Israel, stand still. Stand still. Stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord. God was not in the wind. God was not in the earthquake. Bless the name of the Lord. Word of God declared that there was a great fire. And we speak about how God goes before us as a consuming fire. Hallelujah. As you imagine if you see a pillar of gold by day and a pillar of fire by night, we would want a fire of fire because we would be convinced that it is God that is leading us. Hallelujah. But we need to decide to know the difference. Amen. To know when God is speaking. To know when God is leading. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory, glory. We know that everything that is associated with God is associated with fire. But yet God was not in the fire. And light just stood still. Bless the name of the Lord. How do we know when it is God speaking? From another voice that is speaking to us. You know, Elijah knew the voice of God. Because he has heard from God many, many times. Bless the Lord. Amen. You know, so it wasn't a strange thing. You know, when you hear the voice of God, you know the difference. That when God is speaking, that when someone else is speaking. Glory to God. Church, we have to know who our God is. We have to know who our God is. We have to know when He's speaking to us. So Elijah knew that He wasn't in the wind. He knew He wasn't in the fire. He knew He wasn't in the earthquake. Hallelujah. But then one more time, He showed up. Hallelujah. Show up, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But he show up on the stairs, my voice. Hallelujah. Then the light that he can speak, Lord. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. When God is speaking to us, you know, we have to give that acceptance to the voice of God. When He's speaking to us, we have to give acceptance and we have to give reverence to Him. When He's speaking to us, speak, Lord, and servant here. Because when He speaks, the mountains will become a plain. When he speaks, the Red Sea will come apart and we will walk over. When he speaks, Jordan will come apart and we will walk over. 
Bless the name of the Lord. When he speaks, the Amalekites will come down. When he speaks, the Jebusites will be defeated. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, when he speaks, Jericho wall will come down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
and the exceeding great joy. Church of God, God is speaking to his people today. Though one whole should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war shall rise up against me. In this will I be confident. One thing of my desire, Lord. Though an host is trying to pull me apart, one thing of my desire that will I seek after. Hallelujah. That I may dwell, 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 dwell in the house of the Lord on the days of my life. Hallelujah. To behold the beauty of the Lord. To behold the beauty. There is a beauty to behold. There is a glory to be seen. There is an everlasting life to gain. Hallelujah. I fear now. I shall not run away. I shall not fear the battle. He's going up by my side. No wonder from the pathway. If God will be my God. Oh Jesus. So I promise. To all who follow me. That where thou art in glory. There shall thy servant be. Get up Elijah. We are called church of God. We are called church of God. Arise from your sofa. We are called church of God. I shall not run away. Fear not. Get up from under the juniper tree. Peter that tree. Hallelujah. Strengthen yourself with the word of God. Strengthen yourself with the songs of Zion. Strengthen yourself with the praises. Hallelujah. Strengthen yourself with the spiritual songs and him. For the journey is great. Hallelujah. One thing about I desire for the Lord. Mama Shia. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To behold his beauty. And to acquire his temple. And to hear when he speaks. Hear when he speaks. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord. He's speaking to us today. Fear not. Hold that church of God. Run with patience to race. That is set before you. Glory to God because soon and very soon. Hallelujah is coming in the clouds of heaven. And only those that endure, endure, endure. Hallelujah. Not the battle for the strong, but for those that endure, press on, church of God. The battle won't be long. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you. 
Thank you.